To counter your opponent grabbing your shoulder from behind, swing your arm and turn your body to trap his arm under your arm. Use your arm to hyperextend his elbow. Use your free hand to press down on his shoulder. By bringing your hand to your own forearm, you can lock his entire arm. Sink your body, bringing his shoulder to the ground to pin his body down. Your body pivots fluently in a complete circle as you capture your opponent's arm and bring him down. To counter your opponent grabbing your shoulders with both hands from behind, swing your arm in the same manner as if he was grabbing you with one arm. However, trap both of his elbows. Use your free hand to push his shoulder over and down. Squeezing his elbows together will raise one shoulder and upset his balance. Push his shoulder over as you pull his elbows in, taking him down. Pivot your body fluently in a complete circle. Sink down as you pivot while keeping his elbows secure under your arm to bring your opponent down. Squeeze your opponent's elbows together by curling your arm around his elbows and pushing his upper arm in with your other hand. Maintain your grip on his elbows after he falls, shifting your other hand to grip underneath his upper arm. Keep his hands locked under your armpit by pressing your arm into your torso. Lock his elbows with your forearm and press his upper arm with your other hand. To counter your opponent grabbing your hair, grab his hand and break his grip. Press back on his fingertips, hyperextend his wrist and bring him down. To break his grip, place the heels of your palms against the sides of his hands and squeeze. This collapses his hand and frees his fingers from your hair. Close your thumbs underneath his fingers. Use your thumbs to press his fingers back toward his forearm. Close your fingers around the back of his hand for leverage. Hyperextending his fingers and wrist will lock his forearm. By sinking your hands, you can bring his forearm to the ground. His body will follow. After you bring his forearm down, pull his hand forward to bring him completely to the ground. Use the ground to lock his forearm as you continue to press his hand back. To counter your opponent grabbing your hair from behind, grab his hand and elbow. Squeeze his hand with your fingertips to loosen his grip. Step behind him and twist his arm up and behind his back. While lifting his hand to his shoulder, pinch his elbow with your other hand. Grab his hand first so he cannot pull your hair or jerk your head around. Step and twist in the same motion. In this variation, grab his hand with both of your hands sliding one hand under and behind your opponent's hand. Press into the sides of his hand to 
to release his grip. Continue to pivot, turning his palm to face up and extending his elbow. Pull his wrist forward to upset his balance and take him down. Bring his wrist to the ground. Pivot your body fluently in a complete circle. Use one hand to press his palm back towards his forearm as you pull forward with his other wrist. In this variation, grab your opponent's hand and break his grip as you turn to face him. From here, take him down in the same manner as you would if he was grabbing you from the front, hyperextending his wrist and bringing it to the floor. As you pivot, sink down to bring his forearm to the floor. Use your fingers and thumbs to hyperextend his fingers and wrists. In this variation of the hair grab from the front, squeeze your opponent's hand to break his grip. Using your whole body, pivot to the side to extend his wrist sideways. This technique can extend both his wrist and his elbow. By pressing his wrist down and lifting his fingers up, you can bring your opponent down. To counter your opponent grabbing your ear, grab his fingers to break his grip, hyperextending his wrist. Use your other hand to lock his elbow. Grab his hand using your thumb to pry up the little finger side of his hand. Hyperextend both his wrist and elbow. In this variation, grab his hand using your thumb to pry up the thumb side of his hand. Use your other hand to grab his elbow, pushing it up to hyperextend it. Rotate his arm so that his palm faces up, keeping his arm hyperextended. Pull his wrist down to the floor and press his elbow down to take him down. Pivot your body in one fluent motion so that your opponent must circle around you until he falls. While most other grabs are preparations for a punch or an attempt to restrain, choke holds pose an immediate threat to life. A solid choke may not block your airway, rather it can stop your carotid arteries, blocking blood flow to your brain. This can result in the loss of consciousness in a matter of seconds. To counter your opponent choking you, first save your neck. Free your arteries and your airway from any obstruction. To counter your opponent choking you with his arm, pull his arm away from your neck. Grab his other hand and step behind him, slipping under his armpit. Twist his arm so that it is wedged under his stomach. After freeing your neck from his arm, twist his other hand so that his thumb points to the floor. Twisting his hand out will lock his arm against his body, controlling his torso. To counter your opponent choking you with both hands, pull his thumbs toward you with your fingers while pushing his little fingers away from you with your thumbs. Pull your opponent's hands out to twist his elbows along with his wrists. Cross his arms, pushing his top arm down, locking his other arm. Work the twist on this other wrist to take him down. 
Follow his body as he falls, sinking down with your opponent, never relinquishing control of the arm lock. 